It is time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament where we are on year six of Carnaxis and we get to draw an event card. Malpractice lawsuit. It's all over the news. The doctor gets sued for malpractice. There is no doctor. So any player who wishes may buy, sell stocks right now. That's kind of nice if you want to do the stocks because it takes an action. And this is one of the things that... Um, bothers me about this game. Not so much the buying and selling of stocks, because maybe essentially you're spending the year doing that, because most of these actions you're doing this for a year, right? Throughout the year you're spending like roughly half your non-sleeping time going to work, or, you know. Um, but like if you want to go to the retirement fund, right, if you want to put money into a retirement fund, that takes just as much time as going to work for a year. Or if you want to hire an accountant that takes just as much time or buy insurance, those things maybe should just be things you get to do. Um, but I'm not going to change the game at this point. I'm, we're going to experience it as is. Uh, I think what we'll do is I'll just go through and figure out what everyone's going to do for an action and then tell you that just to kind of speed things up. Because um, I think it's kind of cut and dry what people are going to be working on anyway. It's not that complicated, right? Maybe it is more complicated, and they'd be doing better if we made it more complicated, but it's not going to be that complicated. Okay, we have our actions on the table. Smudge, he um, went to college or university. He's trying to get his stats up so that he can get this advertising firm, um, which would give him, you know, be very helpful. Then he gets a discount on advertising once he gets that, so he can just kind of spend the rest of the game kind of growing his business and raking in money without having to go to work. Um, Sid, she went to work because she has to go to work or she loses her sweet tax collector position. Um, Cowboy took out a loan and went to university. He's really just trying to get his stats up as quickly as possible so he can become the pro athlete and then just be an athlete and have an extra turn and get to do a bunch of stuff and collect a huge salary. Wow. Um, Kaz and Kat, she bought a Karen Axis card, but I didn't draw it yet because I know you love to see me draw cards. So let's look at it. It's free insurance. As long as you have this card, you receive free insurance and are immune to negative event card effects on your job, your business, and yourself. All right. I don't know why she would lose this card. So I guess she just has free insurance forever. Um, Watermelon went to university. She might try to become a professor. She's got to get her stats up further and also uh, grow her business. So she's kind of kind of got to do two very different things. It's kind of tough for her. And Tater isn't taught. She got a franchise in the craft shop. I had to amend some monies from last time. I, I didn't realize that. I didn't read this. I, didn't, I don't usually look at the board too much. Um, the franchise cost is actually cheaper than starting your own business afresh. Okay, Smudge, Cowboy, and Watermelon all did personal study, which just gives you one attribute point. Sid, she hired an accountant, so she's not going to have to pay taxes, but she will have to pay her accountant $10,000. Um, Kaz and Kat went to university, and Tater, as in taught, she did some advertising. So now we got to do the money, and then we'll come back for next year's event. We are just humming along. Okay, we're going to year seven, and we get to draw an event. Let's see what it is. Hard times. Players cannot attend college or buy Carnaxis cards this year. If you are insured, disregard this. Decrease the value of all stocks by one. All right. Well, the Carnaxis card thing, that's really going to bother Kaz and Kat, but I think she had some other plans, so maybe she'll be able to just do those instead. She only has to buy... Oh, but she's also insured, so that's not even going to bother her at all. Um... And I've been reading college to mean college, not university. So I think people can still go to university. So I, that's not going to really affect anyone unless Tater as in Tot wanted to go to college. She's not done. Kaz and Kat might also want to go to college. Yeah, well, she was. She had the 5521. She was trying to get this consultant job. So that's going to keep her from doing that this turn. She was going to go to college and then take that job, which gives her 5000 per Kernexus card which is quite a lot because she's, you know, that's mainly what she's been doing is getting Carnaxis cards in this game of Carnaxis. Alrighty, so we have our, our turns logged in. We see three people went to university. Um, 
actually one of them went to college and actually had her pay to go to university, so I gotta give her 10,000 back. Uh, Kaz and Kat now has what she needs to become the consultant. Oh, no, she doesn't. She needs one more in handiness, then she will be able to become the consultant. That's going to give her a nice salary and money for the current access card. I don't, let's see, consultant. Each time a player buys a current access card from the pile. So she could just be getting her current access cards for free, essentially, after she has that. So she'll just go to work and get current access cards for the rest of the game, I think is the plan. Um... Watermelon got what she needs to become a professor, and I think she'll do that. She needs to go to university a few more times, and so that'll help her and also give her some money. And then she can use that money to bump up her business growth because she also has to get that to 20. Um, let's see, who else went to call it? Oh, Cowboy. He's still got to get his handiness up to 12, but he has his, his charisma where he needs it to be to be a pro athlete. So he needs, yeah, like five more bumps. So two more universities and one more individual study. And he's got a problem. There's going to be loan payments due here soon. So he might have to skip out on university next turn. But the nice thing is his business growth is not super high, but high enough that he'll be pulling in more money. Uh, 27, that's going to put him in the bad tax bracket, though. So he's really in kind of a rough position. Because, uh, well, it, the loans aren't too much. He just has to pay 7500 I don't know if that's rounded up or down. Um, okay, we had two big businesses that, that got uh, bought. Um, Smudge added the advertising firm, which 15000 growth, 20000 discount. And if anyone else advertises, he gets the money. So he's pretty much just going to be advertising and bumping up his business growth probably the rest of the game, unless there's something else compelling. I mean, he's gonna have to pick something else to do right because you can't just like advertise all the time um sid got the hotel chain which made her got her very close to her carnaxis um tater hasn't taught franchised out the the shoe shop so now she has her carnaxis which was to start for businesses or franchises got a hundred thousand on that fortunately she you know since she went small small fry her growth isn't as high as it could be if she was going for bigger businesses, but it's, you know, comparable to where everyone else is at. If not, you know, she's even on the high end. So just by plugging away with those small businesses, she's doing good. Problem is it's her attributes aren't very high. So starting new businesses would be difficult though. She does meet the prerequisites for these two kind of like lower end of their tier restaurants, the car dealership and the restaurant. So let's do another round of turns and I'll see you then. All right, so Kaz and Kat did not buy a Carnaxis card this turn. Instead, she just bumped up her attributes so that she could get the consultancy next, next consultancy job next turn and then start raking in money while actually getting free Carnaxis cards for the rest of the game. And also, if other people buy Carnaxis cards. <laughs> Don't be disappointed though, because Smudge did buy a Carnaxis card, so we'll still get to read a new Carnaxis card. Lucky winnings! So, this isn't very exciting for him. Because, you know, he's got, a, he's got a good amount of money, but he did make a profit on that of a little bit. So, I guess he'll save it. And then what else happened? Um, Tater isn't taught about the car dealership. She had a hard time deciding what she wanted to do. Um, Sid, oh yeah, she franchised the bookshop, and so now she got her Carnaxis, and quite a bit of growth. She's at 21 now, which is nice. Is that the highest growth, business growth we have on the table? I believe so. Cowboy took the unemployment. That might, that'll help make sure that he can pay off, you know, do his loan payments next turn, and maybe also be able to go to university which he really needs to, the sooner he can get this job, the better, because then he's going to start bringing in the money from it as well as get his Carnaxis, and that's just going to make things a lot better. Uh, Watermelon became a professor, and I think that is about it. All right, see you next turn, year, year eight.